Hey everyone. Oh, it's been a big week. Um, I don't know about you, but the last seven days for me have just been pretty tumultuous. So I apologise in advance if I'm slightly scattered because things have been all over the place. But, um, you know, sometimes when I sit down to do these videos, uh, I, I sit down and I know exactly what I want to talk to you about. I'm like, this is it. Today we're talking about this thing. It's going to be awesome. And then other days I sit down and I think, what am I going to share? And I could spend up to 20 minutes sitting in silence, staring at a screen going like, what is it this week? What's going to be of value? What, like, what, in, what's the message people need to hear? Um, you know, what's going to give them the insight or the inspire them to go out and make big change in their business this week. And, you know, sometimes that's a really long drawn out process. <laughs> but, um, one of the things that I think this week really reminded me of was, you know, you, you, you're in that, uh, we, we all have them, those weeks of just utter kind of, kind of chaos and, and some things that really remind you what's important in life. And I, like this week I came back to, um, just like loving the process. Uh, I was listening to a podcast this morning from Anthony Morrison and he was talking about, um, the Michael Jordan quote, like love the game. And, um, and, you know, he's sort of talking about being an entrepreneur and this lifestyle of, um, you know, you in his case, your wife asking you, um, why you work so hard or family members asking you why you work so hard. And it wasn't so much that, um, a hyper excited kind of, over the top message that I took from it, really what I took from it was, it was, yeah, that idea of like, love your process, whatever it is. And so I was reflecting on that this morning. I thought for me, getting back to basics, like when it all hits the fan, um, when, you know, you're, you're questioned hard, getting back to basics for me means number one, find your purpose. And number two, love your process, not anybody else's, but your process. Um, and you know, I think there's a, there's a lot in that. So for me, finding my purpose took a long time. Um, it's, it's an evolving thing. It continues to be an evolving thing. Um, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a vet and I got right to my final year. I took physics, chem, um, biology, maths, like I took science extensions all the way through. I was going to be a vet right up until the end of school. And then in the last year I changed my mind and decided to do architecture. Um, because that was that was where I decided to go. I decided instead of science only, I wanted to balance the love of painting that I had and, and bring my arts and my sciences together. And I went through this architecture degree and towards the end of that, I decided that it was going to be project management because that was where I could have more influence over bringing beautiful structures and beautiful uh, livable spaces to life. Um, and I, I did that for a while. And then in my mid twenties, I sort of went, well, do I want to be a project manager for the rest of my life? And that point I went and did my company director's course. I thought, no, I'll do board work. You know, we can have influence across more than one company at a time. Um, you know, and so it, it's been this constantly evolving process. And there's, there's always those moments where you question it and you go, what am I doing? Or maybe it's not even that strong. Maybe it's just like, this isn't working and I'm feeling dull and lethargic and I don't know how to get myself out of it, but I know something needs to change. Um, and then at other moments you, you hit that wave and you feel like you're really surfing on the edge of it and you're loving what you're doing and it's awesome so I think that piece around purpose is obvious is like constantly evolving um and then that other piece this morning that I started to put in behind it so that, you know once you find what it is that you're pursuing that that thing that's bigger than yourself that you're going after then going back to enjoying the process whether that's living in a city in a high you know working in a high-rise building all hours of the day because you're making a big impact or whether it's moving to a cabin in the mountains to kind of reflect and rest and then um, try and put your best self forward to teach others what you've learned. But whatever that process is for you, you know, love that process. Um, and so that's that's kind of what I wanted to share this week. I don't have a whole heap. Um, as I said, it's been a big week. It's been some big challenges. Um, feeling a little scattered, probably going to have a few days of rest. <laughs> but it was that time of the week. It was that time for me to show up. And when I thought about showing up, what really resonated was like, let's just, sometimes it's about getting back to basics. Let's go back to what it is that we know our purpose to be today. And, and let's get back to pursuing that. And then loving the process of doing that as well. So that it's not this constant uphill battle. doesn't mean that you're not going to have challenges. 
but that ultimately you are loving the process of going through that that experience. Um, so that's all I've got to you for you today. I would love to hear uh, what you've been up to this week, and um, you know maybe you're at a point where you're kind of questioning things and um, maybe looking at making a change in your life. That I would love to hear from you and hear your stories. Um, so hit me up, drop a comment below, and um, we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.